cursor, an AI-powered IDE that somehow has better GitHub integration than GitHub's own Copilot. And honestly, Skype is probably rolling in its grave watching GitHub make the exact same mistakes it did versus Zoom. You see, Cursor is already the most widely used AI-powered IDE out there, with many calling it the VS Code killer. And yet, the only thing that it's managed to successfully kill so far is my ability to write code manually. And honestly, that's fine because right now the vibe coding meta is stronger than Season 3 2013 Cassidy. And if you're here to become a 10x engineer like Linus Torvald, then you're probably watching the wrong video. Because taking a year to write something like the Linux kernel at this point is just way too slow. With the tips in this video, you'll be able to vibe code your own Linux kernel in a day. Now, if you want to enable the full cursor freemium experience, you'll need to head over to settings, tap on features and enable auto run, or as it was formerly known, YOLO mode. With YOLO mode activated, cursor will quite literally do everything for you. It writes your code, runs your tests right in the embedded terminal, it'll automatically patch after every failing case, and then it'll loop endlessly until everything is ticking green. Just one small tip though before using YOLO mode, make sure that you actually update your command allow and deny list, unless you feel like YOLOing your untested code straight to production. And just a side note, I love the original names they had for these settings, I actually don't understand why Cursor decided to make them so bland and so boring. Um, if you agree or if you disagree, let me know in the comments. And maybe YOLO mode is doing just a bit too much for you and all you really need is a way to untangle your spaghetti code of a function. The simple fix with cursor is just to highlight the offending snippet, hit Control K on Windows or Command K on Mac, and then just ask cursor to either refactor, optimize, or rewrite your code. Refactoring means to restructure your existing code while keeping its innate behavior. So in other words, just making it easier to read while doing the exact same thing, which AI honestly is great at. And I for one am glad that's the case because I hate doing this manually. And I used to be the guy that clicked through menus for everything. I never used Vim. I've been on VS Code my entire life. So learning this shortcut early on will honestly save you an embarrassing amount of time. Next is, did you know that you can actually open up any GitHub repo without manually cloning or even touching your terminal? All you have to do is just hit Control P or Command P on Mac, then paste in the repository's URL and hit enter. Cursor will automatically clone and open the repository while also showing you the live differences in real time, saving you tremendous amount of time cloning repositories. <laughs> Another handy feature is that if you go to settings and enable cursor tab previously known as Cursor++. Plus Plus. This enables Cursor's autocomplete feature, which is contextually aware of your entire code base. Just type in your code normally, and whenever you see a completion pop up, hit tab to accept it. Honestly, it genuinely makes coding faster and better. And if you're looking to dive deeper into coding fundamentals while building projects that'll look good on your resume, then check out the Code Crafters link in the description. As always, thank you so much for watching, and I'll see you in the next one.